Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be replacing the CB antenna that's on my 2007 Chevy Suburban. So the antenna that I have on the Suburban now is an old four foot fire stick too. Probably had this antenna for 25 years and it's probably been on three or four different vehicles. Now there's actually nothing wrong with it. It actually works just fine on here. The only reason I want to replace it is because it's too tall. <laughs> I can't get the Suburban in my garage with this antenna on here. So I figured what I'd do is switch to a new three foot fire stick. That way I should be able to get in the garage. Now in theory, the four foot antenna is gonna work a little better than the three foot antenna, but for what I use this CB for, I don't think I'm gonna notice much of a difference. So let's get this old antenna off. We'll get the new one installed, tuned up, and then check it out, see how it works. So here's a quick look at the old antenna. As you can see, it's a little bit weathered, but other than that, it seems to work just fine. So I'm gonna set this aside and keep it for a spare in case I need it for something else. So here's the new three foot fire stick two that I ordered from Wolcott Radio. Let's get it out of the package here and take a closer look. So there it is, pretty much the same thing as my old antenna, just a foot shorter. So there's a few things I like about these fire sticks. The first is that these are made in the USA by a United States company. Now, not that there's anything wrong with companies from other countries, I just like to support American companies when I can do it. The other thing I like about these antennas is that they're very easily tunable with this tuning screw that's at the top of the antenna. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in detail as I get the antenna mounted and tuned. The other thing I like about these antennas is that they're made with quality materials. They hold up and work well over time as you saw with my old four foot fire stick. So having said all that, let's get the antenna mounted on the truck and get it tuned. So just as a point of reference, the mount that I'm using for this antenna was something that I also bought from Wolcott Radio a little while back when I first got the Suburban. So this mount is specifically designed to fit this generation of Chevrolet SUVs. It's got the 3 8 inch mount for the fire stick type antenna and it's all made from stainless steel. So this antenna bracket also came with the low profile coax mount called the fire ring also made by fire stick so it should work well with my fire stick antenna so i'm going to start off with the set screw in about the halfway position now one thing to keep in mind is that the antenna also comes with this red sort of weather cap now for whatever reason the cap does seem to affect the swr adjustment so every time i make an adjustment to this i'm going to put the red cap back on and then check everything on the radio so one thing to keep in mind about this cap on the fire stick is that once it goes on here, it's hard to get off. And it's almost like one of those Chinese finger puzzles where the harder you pull it, the harder it grabs onto the shank of the antenna and wants to stay on. So it's a good idea to put a little bit of a lubricant in there, something like diluted dish soap or something works for me. And you don't need a lot, just a little bit goes a long way. The other thing that I'll keep in mind is that when I'm checking the SWR, I wanna make sure that all the doors are closed on the vehicle. That seems to affect it a little bit too. So the radio that I have in my Suburban is a President McKinley. So this radio has kind of a neat built-in SWR setting function. So we're gonna use that to tune this antenna. But the process would be more or less the same if you were using a traditional SWR meter. So I'm gonna start off on channel one and check the SWR there first. As you can see, the radio is measuring right around 2.2 or 2.4 for SWR. So now I'll go up to channel 10 and check it there and see what I get. So on channel 10, as you can see, we're getting 3.2. So it's getting worse as I go up through the channels. Let's try channel 20 and see what that looks like. Channel 20 looks to be at 4.4, so still getting worse. Channel 30 is 5.0, and it looks like channel 40 is 5.8. So ideally, we want the SWR to be as close to 1.0 as possible. But in practice, we probably won't get there, at least not on every channel. So the realistic target here is to stay at 2.0 or below if we can do it. So after looking at the SWR measurements, the SWR was better on the lower channels than it was on the higher channels. So what that means is that the antenna is a little bit too long. In order to get it to work better on the higher channels, we need to actually shorten the antenna a little bit. So I'll pull it off the Suburban and I'll turn that set screw in just a little bit and then we'll check it again and see what we get. 
So I've turned the set screw in a few turns. Let's see what we get starting on channel one. Okay, so we're getting 1.8 on channel one. 20 is 3.2, 30 is 4.0, and 40 is 5.0. So it looks like I'm moving in the right direction, but I'm not quite there yet. So as you can probably imagine, this is a bit of an iterative process, and I may need to repeat these steps several times until I get the SWR dialed in where I need it to be. So I'll do that as many times as I need to to get the SWR where I want, but I'll skip all those tries in the video and come back when I get it dialed in. So I think I've got the antenna tuned about as best as I'm gonna get. So I'll roll through the SWR check here again and show you guys what I mean. So we're getting about 2 to 2.2 on channel 1. On channel 10, we're getting about 1.8. On channel 20, we're getting 1.4. On channel 30, we're at about 1.6. And on channel 40, we're at about 2.0. So as you saw, I've got the SWR about as low as I can get it right in the center of the CB band, or right around channel 20. If we take a look at channel 1 or channel 40, the SWR gets a little bit high at 2.0, but for the most part, across the CB band, we are at 2.0 or better. And for this style of antenna, the way that I have it mounted here on the fender, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. And it should work just fine. So now that I've got the SWR dialed in right where I want it, I'm going to get the antenna tightened up and locked down on the mount. Now before I tighten this up for the final time, I'm going to add this stainless steel washer, which should help prevent it from loosening up over time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider checking out my Amazon store, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.